Hey, what's happening guys? Vako here with another Webflow tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to build a masonry grid in Webflow. Uh, this is a uh, masonry grid. It's this sort of uh, misaligned uh, flow of uh, photos that is quite common. It's like a Pinterest style and it's very very nice way to actually arrange photos uh, on a website if you have a gallery something like that it's a great way often photos come in very different shapes and sizes right and you do want to show that so for example when the photo is taken in a portrait is this yeah portrait mode you don't want to cut this and make it standard like everyone else you do want it to show the full extent of the photo because there was a reason why it was taken like this for example this guy right this photo if you make it square and landscape mode then poor guy's gonna be cropped unnecessarily so masonry grid has a lot of great uses you can even make cards out of this so it's very simple to build this in webflow and now i'm gonna show you how to do it so um, I have created a CMS. You don't have to do this with CMS, but uh, often you will because you'll have like a blog post CMS, something like that inside the CMS collection. So I'm going to demonstrate it, how to build this with uh, when you're working on CMS. It's going to be a lot easier if you're not working with a CMS, you just drop the photos in a place. So I have just bunch of there's nothing here besides a name and a photo so all of these cms items are just the photos that i randomly uploaded that's all there is to it so we'll start by i'm just going to create a header drop a section drop a container um, let's give this guy some padding i'm gonna give it some uh, actually let's give it a nice gradient you guys know how to create gradients right it's not from the color here because it's just the background gradients are being created from the styles background style so you have to click, click this plus icon and then choose this second guy which is the linear gradient all right i'm going to delete this because there's two uh, now you have this gradient which starts from one color ends to another color click on the beginning actually double click on it and then now you're able to add it the beginning color and um, actually i'm going to switch change the direction like an angle of the gradient to maybe something like 135 that way it's not exactly 90 degrees starting from left to right but it's sort of angles All right and uh, okay let's see get light then the end color double click on it put something change obviously you can paste paste the code here the hex code as you wish let's make it more like this yeah that's about right more like apple style you know guys apple.com that's somehow today that's what they're using as a on their websites a lot of gradients and let's drop a heading inside masonry grid give it some different font Montserrat is good there you go white you guys know this webflow trick you can just type white and it'll automatically change the color perhaps shrink the bottom padding a little to make it more so excellent now we have a header now we'll drop another section drop another container give it another padding i'm just randomly using padding so i don't usually do 33 i like to be precise i would hate to use 33 on uh, 33 pixels something not even like that on a real website but here i'm just messing around doing a quick tutorial so i will now now the first step so because it's a cms item we need to put a collection list if it wasn't a cms item then we would just drop images inside a div block that that's it that's the only difference so because it's a cms we are going to put a collection list this guy and we will connect it to our cms collection which is i named it as photos 
or connect it there. And you're not going to choose any columns. So don't choose columns here. You want it to be full width. We're not, we're going to use something else to create those columns. So make them full. Now, right now, nothing is displaying. Why? Because we don't have any elements inside and they're not connected. What we need to put inside is the image element in one of them. You don't have to put in all of them. You just put in one of them and that will automatically apply to all of them. Uh, still empty, right? Because it's not connected. Now it's just a random static image element. To make it connected to the CMS, we need to click Get Image From, and then it will give us all the fields that are eligible for this. So you're not, if you're not seeing your field here, that means you are trying to connect something that is a different type of a field. Image fields connect with images, and text fields connect with text. In this case, it shows up, thumbnail photo, that's what I have. And now it's all connected, and this is what we get. They are being pulled on their original size, well, not fully original because it's being um, sized by the parent. So whatever fits, they pulls it one by one. Now we are going to make this masonry grid. And what we do is this, not with grid, not with flexbox, actually something you wouldn't think, and it's inside typography. You have to click more type options. It's not gonna be opened by default. More type options. And then you get this thing called columns. Now, you're not gonna do this on the image, very important part, because you are breaking down something into columns. So you're not breaking down image into columns, you're breaking down the parents, parent that holds everything together. Now, in our case, not the collection item because collection item just holds one image inside. If we're breaking down, it's just gonna break down whatever is inside and it's just a single thing inside. So not that. What's that one up? Collection list. Is collection list the correct thing? We can see it in the navigator. So collection list holds all our photos as individual collection items. So that's gonna work. This is what we want to break down. Not collection list wrapper because collection list wrapper only has one item inside and that's collection list. That's it. So it's just going to break down one single thing. But collection list item, although it shows here, it only has one item. That one item is all of these guys. And you'll see this by the boundaries that you get, these purple boundaries, collection item, and you only get the boundary up to here. But if I select collection list, then a whole thing is selected or collection wrapper, the whole thing is selected, right? So that's not the correct thing. Um, not in case of collection wrapper, it's not, but in case of a collection list, it is, because that's what we need to break it down. <clears throat> so where was it? Uh, columns. And just choose whatever columns you wanted to make, three columns. And voila, now it's a mason rib grid. Now how this works? This is actually a way you to style a text. Do you guys know how you style text in Microsoft Word? This is how it is being styled the text. It starts from here, so sort of like a newspaper style. Uh, text goes in one column until it finishes and reaches the end of the whatever is available, then goes to the second and then third, and, and actually it tries to balance it out in a way that they are sort of become equal. So you're not going to have one column fully going all the way down to the page, right? It's going to try to make it balanced, but it will not cut something that cannot be cut like a photo, right? So it will end the photo, whatever last one it fits, then it goes to this one and this one. You cannot rearrange this here. It has to flow like this. And um, the gap between them is uh, can be also handled from here. The gap right now is zero, but there is something from the collection item. Collection item has a default uh, uh, something, some default paddings or margins on them, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, gap is good. So now what we need is a margin on the bottom, right? So we're now we're gonna take take collection item and give it, let's say, 
15 pixel margin on the bottom. What you usually want to do from the design perspective, you want to match the gap. Whatever the gap is here, you want it to be exactly the same because that's consistent and that looks great. But if you're gonna make it like, you know, 30 or something, that doesn't look very nice. You want it to be uniform. Uh, I know in this case, the default one is 15. And that's it, that's your collection uh, list broken down into masonry grid. But I have one more thing to show, actually a couple more things to show here. So right now it's just the photos. So I can click on them, nothing works, right? It would be nice thing to have a gallery type. So this is what often you want to do. You want to have this a gallery. So you want these photos to actually open up. Now, how do we make them open up? We have to use a lightbox link. It's an element, it's a component that Webflow has. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually delete this image element. We don't want that. In this case, we want to use a light box, right? This. And lightbox has two parts in it. One that is a thumbnail, and you can we can see this in the settings. One that is a thumbnail and this placeholder, whatever is showing, and one that is what's going to open up the gallery behind it. In our case, what we're going to do is we're going to select get image from thumbnail photo, and this is exactly going to do whatever we just did. But if you see when you click on it, nothing happens because we didn't uh, connect it to what is it opening up. This is just the thumbnail, but we haven't told it that we want to open up the same image as um, in the model, in the light box. Now that is called media. <clears throat> it's right here. So there's a bunch of different settings here. Just find where the media is. You have to have light box link or the image inside selected to find this media. If you have Lightbox link selected, it's gonna show up right away right here. And you click get media from photos and connect it to the same thing, thumbnail photo image. Now, when we click on it, each image will open up like this. And this is excellent, right? That's what we want. Now, one more thing you can do, you can connect this. If you want this to be a like complete gallery that person opens up and then goes through the photos what you can do is you can select this link with other light boxes if you have image selected it's going to show up right here link with other light boxes that means whatever other light boxes are on this page it's going to connect them together but to connect them together you have to name give it a group name otherwise it's not going to know which light box is connected to which one and this is defined by the group name. So you have to give it some sort of masonry gallery group name. Now, in this case, I'm just giving this to one because this is a collection list. Whatever I do here, it's going to be applied to everything. As you can see, that masonry gallery is applied on everyone. But if you are working with static content, you will have to do this with each individual one. All right, each individual one has to have this masonry gallery connected to that. I don't remember if it uh, inherits from the class. So if it's the class is applied and you do this, I don't think so, but you know, you can check that, but I don't think it's going to inherit this from the class. So you would have to individually select them, give this, uh, check this box and put the group name on them. So now when you go inside the preview mode, and you click, the whole gallery is gonna open up like this, and you can go through it, click on different photos, and all of them work like this. All of them will open up the gallery. And that's it. That's how you build masonry grid in Webflow.